So today is the first day that we are home during summer break and have nothing really to do except for baseball no. tonight for this guy. Second day. No, we weren't home all day yesterday. We came home from Galveston yesterday, but this is our first full day home. So I asked the kids to make a list of things that they want to do this summer, like a bucket list. And it can't be play video games all day. Um, it can't say no chores. <laughs> But if you need some ideas, I can give you some. Like don't argue with your brother, clean the house, help mommy with laundry. Those are some great ideas, right? Right, dude? Those are some good ideas. Jacob, oh, we're waiting on you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna get started on their list and then we'll come check in with them in a little while. <laughs> Did you hear some ideas if you need some? Yeah. Don't argue with my brother, clean the house, help mommy with laundry, read a book every day. Are those some good ideas? No. <laughs> Jacob says he's done with his bucket list. Read it off to us. Have a lot of sleepovers, no homework, going to the pool a lot, have fun, go to Bahama Box, go to the movies with friends, and make slime, and get sleep. Get sleep? <laughs> and get sleep and have fun is on your bucket list. <laughs> and you will have homework, dude. Uh -uh. We do schoolwork every summer to keep that brain fresh, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, that's a pretty easy bucket list, don't you think? Kind of. Are you writing a book over here, dude? Let us know when you're done so you can read it to us. Xander says he's done. Okay, read him off. Go to the pool two times a week. Go to the pool two times a week. Get CS go. Get new books, go to Top Golf, go to a place with minerals, play baseball, play outside, have sleepovers, go to the Bahama Bucks, make slime, make popsicles, go to movies, make food as bears, buy more stuff, play with water toys, what do you mean play with buy more stuff? Friends, visit Tyson and RJ, go on vacation. Pretty good bucket list, dude. Actually, I had 18. Nice. That's a lot. You think we can do all that this summer? No. I'm pretty sure we can. <laughs> it's that time again. Woo -woo. Baseball time. All-star game. Yeah. So, usually, if we're in the loser's bracket, we play back to back to back. But apparently, <laughs> even in the winner's bracket this season, you play it back to back to back. No, no, no. Not apparently, like, together. The loser's bracket didn't have to play back to back. I know. <laughs> Like, they have a day off today. <laughs> they were messed up. So yeah, if we would have lost last night, we would have played tomorrow. If we, since we won, we play today. If we win today, we play tomorrow. I'm sure if we lose, though, we'd probably play the next day the way it is. I don't know. Yeah, I think if I don't know. I think <laughs> if we win tomorrow, then we play Friday. Right. If we win Friday, then we make it to the championship game Monday or something like that. I don't know. You know the brackets are. It's hard to follow them. I'm excited. Are See? you excited, Xander? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Where's his hat? He has it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It's not his hat, but he does have a hat. We still can't find his hat, though. No, we can't. Yeah. I don't know if I told you guys. I called the hotel, and they said they can't find it. And we looked everywhere. I So I'm giving the hotel a couple more days to clean the room a couple more days. Because I don't know if they look underneath the beds and stuff. But I will call again because we do have to return this hat to the kid it belongs to. But I still want him to have one to keep. But Just for memory. I mean, he can always have this one, the one they gave me or whatever. But this is an extra large. Right. So it's, way... it's like it, it sticks off his head like this much or whatever. It's it's doesn't fit him at all. It's, that's not a cool gift. <laughs> so maybe as an adult he'll have yeah. it to look back on. But it's... Back in 2017. I'm just saying old man. Oh. <laughs> I said an adult. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, on days that he has games, we can't really do a whole lot of fun activities. We can't go swimming, we right. can't really play outside a lot because Coach wants him to be ready for the game and not be worn out, which I understand. So during the day on these game days, you won't see a whole lot of any. Ooh, guess what though? <laughs> guess what? Chicken butt. Look, that too. Let why are you filming these old people next to me? I'm not. I'm filming you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, anyways, last night when we got home, I upgraded your eyes for whenever we go swimming. 
I know. Right, I was her, like, I, I thought you were talking to me. I'm like, what do you mean you upgraded my eyes? I trade. I traded our old GoPro in because GoPro has a special right now. If you any any GoPro older than a five, if you traded it in, that'd give you money towards the the five. And I went ahead and upgraded our our swimming eyes. So we're, we're gonna have some some better footage whenever it comes to swimming once we get the GoPro back because it's it doesn't have to be in a waterproof case because the camera is actually waterproof. And it has a little screen on the back of it. So normally when we're doing video or taking pictures with it, we just have to like aim it in the general direction and just hope that it gets what we're trying to capture. Um, but yeah, I'm excited too. He he mailed it off today and we got free two day shipping, right? Yep. Whenever once they, they once they once they receive it, it's free two day shipping. Yep. Cool. Pretty awesome. I'm excited. Brayden, number one, Noah. Number six, Cooper. Number five, Ryan. Number seven, Ryan. Number two, Caleb. Number one, Aiden. Number eight, Henry. Number nine, Xander. Number eleven, Charlie. Number thirteen, RJ. And number six, James. Come on, Xander. Next up, number nine, Xander. Next up, number nine, Xander. Base hit now, base hit. Playing catcher. Seven at the bat. Number five, Nate. Come on, Xander. Oh, that's what it's for. Way to be tough, buddy. And we'll stick another one at the face. <laughs> I know. Good job. He's supposed to be. Making you nervous? <laughs> You don't even have a purse, do you? Come on, RJ. Squeeze that ball, buddy. <laughs> More raised it. I said I said that. playing pitcher now. Stepping up to the plate number two, Parker. Let's get three out. No. He hasn't. Good job, boys. One out away from winning. Uh -huh. Get him, Xander. Good job. Ball game. Good job, boys. American won 16 to 2. So as you guys saw, Xander's team played really well once again. The first game they won 11 to 2 and today they won 16 to 2. They are a very very strong team. I would love it if the coach would just keep this team together and take them on like a little bit of a summer league thing. 
but we'll see how it goes. I think the coach likes the boys a lot. I talked to him after the game. He's a little concerned with Xander not using his hips as much in his swing because when he's warming up with him with the wiffle balls and the heavy balls, he gets him to do it right, but then in the game situation, he wants to swing and take off running. He wants to hurry and run because he's using trying to use his speed, which he's getting on base because he's hitting grounders, running to first base, getting there. However, we all know that, including the coaches, they know that he can hit much harder if he get his hips around and swing through and then worry about running instead of trying to hurry up and take off. But that's okay. He had another RBI tonight, which is good. I think he went two for two tonight. Is that right, Amy? Yes. Two for two. He started, so this game was a little different. Yesterday he played all six innings. He didn't sit the bench any. And he's got 12 players, so two kids are sitting on the bench at all time. Is that right? Yeah. He's, I was thinking about baseball. It's nine players, and I was like, oh, yeah, is, right now they still have eight. They, they have ten kids out there. They have four outfielders. So he said he didn't sit the bench any yesterday. So today he set the bench the first inning, which if you sit the bench in the first inning, you're sitting it in the second inning because every player on the field has to play two consecutive innings. So him and another player sat on the bench today, the first two innings, and then he came in and played catcher his third inning and played pitcher his fourth inning, and he did really good at both spots. So I'm very proud of him. Yeah, we run rolled him so we didn't get any other chances to do anything else. So I'm very proud of him. I think he did very well. Um, I'm excited for this team, and it's, it's just amazing. It's so fun to watch them. We have a little bit of disappointing news to, do, to go with Jacob's team. We were thinking they were going to run some summer league tournaments, but I'm, I'm, from what Amy found out today, I don't think we're doing it anymore. I think Jacob's season is completely done now, and Amy's going to bestow upon me a neck wrap warm because oh, I've got like such pain in my neck lately. It's been hurting for like four weeks. You guys don't really care to know about that, but it hurts, so this is helping, this, this nice heat compress. Um, but yeah. Like I'm saying, Jacob's not going to have anything else. We're not doing a World Series like we thought we were going to do. There's not enough players that are going to be in town. So we're just, unfortunately, done with Jacob's baseball season. So now it's going to be on me to get into the garage and start working with him on his pitching form, taking him to the field, working with some on-the-ground pitching, and, and working on his hitting now that I have an L screen. So you'll see footage of me working with him, but not any more team environment stuff with Jacob right now. So now that I've given you some good news and some bad news about baseball, let me give you some more just general news about our channel. So you heard me say the other day that we were thinking about changing up our format. Um, I'm still thinking about changing up my format. However, I think that I now have a, a, a date in mind of when this is going to go into effect. So we're coming up on our completion of seven years of daily vlogging. Seven years, guys. Every single day. 365 days a year for seven years straight. We put up a video. And with that, we're going to come to a close on doing daily vlogs. We're still going to do a vlog, be a vlogging channel. We're going to be a family vlogging channel, a baseball vlogging channel, uh, a fun channel. However, we're not going to be consecutive daily vloggers anymore. Uh, it's going to come to an end, and I'm I'm still working out the schedule and how I'm going to do things, but preliminarily, is that a word? Pre preliminarily? Say that 10 times fast and let me know how you do. <laughs> preliminarily, um, have a schedule in mind, and it's going to be on Fridays, those daily vlogs, you're not going to get until Monday, okay? And then on Tuesday, you're going to get Saturday and Sunday, a double header vlog. On Wednesday, you're going to get a gaming or, or some other kind of vlog, like an, like an optional, like a, a challenge video vlog. Just something that's out of the ordinary. It's not a, really a daily vlog. Maybe it'll have some vlogging in it, but more than likely, it'll just be some kind of challenge video or something special like that. And Thursday rolls around, you're getting Monday and Tuesday vlog. Friday, you're going to get Wednesday, Thursday vlog. And then Saturday and Sunday are going to be gaming videos. They're either going to be some live streaming gaming on Saturday or some kind of series of gaming that we're going to do, either console or PC. Uh, I haven't quite hammered it out yet, but I've got a few weeks to get this all set up. Um, we're also thinking about maybe changing the name of our channel. Maybe. We just threw that out today. We're kind of, me and Amy are brainstorming. I have a, I have a, a document that I've set up and I'm typing up all the, all my notes about it. I'm trying to, trying to move our channel in the right direction. I think our daily vlogs have kind of ran their course. We still can have fun stuff going on our channel. There's still going to be a video up every single day. It's, it's just not going to be a vlog every single day. I mean, we're still going to do stuff with the camera every single day. Like we'll, we'll do vlog footage, but I'll just dump it into a folder so that it's edited and being able to put together with another day, basically. 
Uh, so hopefully you guys are, are going to stick around for all this. Um, I hope I'm not going to send any of you away because we're stopping doing daily vlogs. We're still going to have videos up every single day. I'm just trying to broaden my horizon, trying to trying to bring more people in and just make this this community that we're building here better. Um, another another reason is I've, I've set another goal for myself. I know I told you guys that if I didn't reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, we were stopping doing daily vlogs. Well, I'm kind of cutting it short. So in my mind, after I've talked with some people at GameCon, some other YouTubers like Jerome um, and, and Mango, we, we talked for a while, and, and I also talked with Boogie. And I'm trying to throw some names out there, trying to make it sound really, really, really cool. And I talked with this one lady, this one chick named Mama the Zillas. Uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. But I'm setting myself up on an 18 month thing. So by December of 18, if I don't have 100,000 subscribers, then, then I don't know what. But that's what I'm telling myself. What, what am I going to do, honey? I don't know, but we're, I'm already stopping daily vlogs, guys. They're, they're, they're going to be moved on. I think I've run the course, and I think I'm ready to let go of the daily vlog simply because I'm still going to be putting up a video every single day, okay? It's not, there's nothing changing. There's still a video going to be here every day. It's just different format. You're going to get basically four daily vlogs or four, not daily vlogs, four family vlogs and then three other kind of videos. Two of them are probably going to be gaming and one's going to be challenges. I've also thought about maybe once a month on that one extra day on the Wednesday of doing like uh, a video dedicated to all the cakes that Amy has done in that month. So maybe like closer to the end of the month you'll get a video that shows all the cakes that Amy's done and some of the process she went through to get to those cakes and the way they started and the way they completed. I think that'd be interesting. But I'm starting to ramble here. I really need to get to editing this vlog because right now it is almost 10 o'clock at night. I am very tired. I need to edit, go to bed, and go to work at my full-time job tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed our channel. Hopefully you've hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. And we will see you guys and gals tomorrow.